Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tanaya Wright. Hey everybody, I'm Russ Bowen. The polls open at 6.30 sharp this morning, and within hours, complaints started rolling in about the weather. CBS 17's Holden Kerwicki joins us live from a polling site in Raleigh to explain just what the humidity is doing and what they're doing about it. Holden. Well, it made for a beautiful day for those of us who had to stand in line to cast or vote earlier this morning, but it's causing quite the headache for the poll workers inside of these precincts. And now at precincts across the area, the high humidity level has made it impossible to feed ballots through the tabulators that actually count up your votes. The ballots that can't be fed through the tabulators are then set aside in emergency bins and will be tabulated as soon as possible. Now, the State Board of Elections released a statement saying in part that they are working with the precincts to, quote, ensure voting areas are kept as cool and dry as possible by using air, to air conditioning and keeping doors closed when possible. Again, all votes that are cast will be counted in the state. will perform an audit after the election is finished. Now, if you have a complaint that you would like to file with the State Board of Elections, you can find a link on our website, cbs17.com. Live in Raleigh, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News. Holden, thanks for that. One item getting a lot of attention on the ballot, six different amendments to the state constitution. I sat down with Meredith College political science professor David McLennan on each of these amendments. You can find those videos right now at CBS17.com under the news tab before.